from FiberFlux. Welcome to week one of the 2018 FiberFlux Holiday Crochet Along. We have an exciting project that I've gotten tons of requests for. We're going to be making a festive table runner. This is the Cozy Granny's table runner and I've made it in some kind of rustic holiday colors. Now obviously you can use any colors you like and we're going to be using Red Heart with Love and we're going to get into the supplies a little bit in just a few moments but I wanted to give a special shout out to Red Heart for um, the yarn for this project as well. And then we're going to be putting a fun and festive tassel to the bottom of our project as well. Now again, this has been a very highly requested project, so I'm really excited that we're going to be making this together. So without further ado, let's jump in for week one where we're going to be talking about the introduction to the project in a little bit more detail and some of the supplies that you'll need for your table runner as well. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a ruler or tape measure is super helpful, a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook. I'm going to be using my Furls Odyssey hook, and I'll put a link down below for that if you need some more information on this hook. I always get a lot of questions about the hooks that I use. And your yarn. For this crochet along, we're going to be using a yarn called Red Heart with Love. Now, I have a mix here of some solids and metallics. I wanted to point out that if you're going to be using the Red Heart with Love, just note that the solids, each ball of this is 315 yards or 288 meters. Each ball of the metallic is 200 yards or 183 meters. It also comes in variegated shades and things like that. Um, I love using this yarn for crochet alongs. If you've joined me on other crochet alongs, I've used this for a couple of our other ones because it comes in tons of colors. It's easy to find in the store. I'll put a link down below if you're unable to find it. I'll put the link to the Red Heart site so you can see all the colors. And it is machine washable, which is great because this will be going on the table, so it has the potential of getting uh, food or other things on it. And it is uh, nice and soft. It's a nice soft yarn. So if you need to substitute yarn though, just look for one that recommends a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook and is a four uh, and medium on the yarn weight scale and you'll be just fine. As a side note, if you do use different hooks, different yarn, etc., just note that your dimensions um, will be a little bit different than mine. But that's okay, it's going on a table so you can have a little bit of flexibility with that. One last thing I wanted to talk about is the colors. So the palette that I'll be using is kind of a classic holiday color, um, but you can really use any colors you like and you can match it to your home's decor uh, throughout the year. And if you're giving it to someone, maybe some of their favorite colors as well. But I'm gonna be using berry red in the solids, lettuce, which is solid. Uh, I have a little smidge of air in here that I'm gonna be just putting in one of the rounds for some contrast and the taupe. I have the metallic taupe here, but you can use, it comes in the solid as well if you're not into the metallics. I will say in the stores right now, because of the holidays, there are a lot of metallics um, of the Red Heart with Love. There's a blue one, a white one that looks kind of like snow. Um, so there are a lot of really nice choices for colors as well. And I cannot wait to see what all of you choose as well. Okay, so that is all the information you need about what to get for next week. Now next week for week two of our crochet along, we're going to be learning how to make the granny hexagon itself and then we're going to learn how to do the join as you go technique to connect all of these hexagons together. Finally in week three, we're going to weave in our ends, do our finish work and add these fun little tassels to the bottom. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't joined the Ravelry Crochet Along, be sure and hop on over to there. I will put the link down below for that. That is a wonderful community where you can share photos, you can ask questions and get help, and everybody is so wonderful and willing to help each other, and it's a great place too to kind of show off your work. Uh, there are people in there who maybe need an opinion on a color combination or which direction to go in as well. So hop on over to that group. It's a great place to start if you're doing the crochet along. And also on social media, use the hashtag FiberFluxCal, and I'll put that up here so you can see it, uh, to share photos of your work so we can all see what everyone's working on. So stay tuned for week two of our Cozy Granny's Table Runner, and you can... Uh, get the full tutorial next week as well. Thanks so much for watching and bye everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.